I S U P K. The images of the situation in Del Rio moved the controversial group Israelite School of UPK to mobilize their car caravan when they were allegedly turned away in Del Rio and they headed to Eagle Pass. Came around to the Mexico side. Now we're in Mexico to give our brothers the resources that we have for them. After an hour plus trip, the caravan made it to this park in Ciudad Acuña, traveling through an area with a State Department travel warning level four for violence on the Mexican side due to the cartels. Being in a dangerous situation, that's being black, Hispanic or Native American. I mean, you know, our lives are dangerous. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward as a ghetto up in heaven and the sours. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something. Can't afford it, we're niggas across the board Ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta, ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man, cause in our camp It ain't no cowards, I didn't for it for grand Nigga, it's step before this song Rather die like a man Double according to her, double according to her work. Go ahead. Let me let me answer the question. Raise your hand. Go, go. No. No. Come forward. No, I don't. I'm curious. Yeah, me too. I mean, I hope you don't hate me. No, because I'm not. I'm. Okay, listen, this is why, I, actually, brothers, I've been here for 40 minutes uh -huh. asking for a Capitals fan to have a discussion with me. Oh, I, I know that. No problem. problem. Our issue has nothing to do with your skin. You could be purple. You could be green with yellow dots. Right. There's an there's a inherent crime that has been committed and in sewn into the fabric of America where our people were the victims. And there was never any justice for it. And we are now talking about justice for what happened to us as a people. Well, let me let me flip the script. Let me ask you. If I came, you, do you have a family? Do you have a wife and children? And you know, if I were to kick in your house and put you in chains, rape your woman. Then tell you move to the attic and you can't come out. Let's say your last name is, you know, Phillips. Yeah. And then I call myself Phillips. Right. And I go to your bank account and I draw yeah. all the money. Yeah. And I tell your children, call me dad. What would you want to happen to me? I would go to war against I would stand up for myself. I wouldn't let my people get walk on my back. But, but here's the problem. Hold on, hold on. Here's the problem. Go ahead. As far as I see, because I'm Italian, my last name is Lily. It was short for Liliana. Uh huh. Because when my family came here, they told us the name's too difficult to pronounce, so they changed it. Great. Who told them that? Black people? No, Native no, Indians? No, no, not black people. Who? Na not. Native Indians? No, but we're not talking about the color of skin. No, but I, listen, I'm trying to identify the criminal. I know. So who told you that? The people who were in New York. And who were the people who were in New York? I were they know. were they saying. were they white people like you? Maybe most likely. More than likely. But did the Native American spring from the ground in North America? No, but he was here first. Where did he come from? He actually came from the land of Israel. Now I let me stop that. you right there. Let that. me stop you right there. So hold, on. He, hold, so on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's have let's, let's, let's happen. Well listen, we're gonna get into the history, but we started in one topic. Let, let me just backtrack. Okay. You said you would go to war with whoever did. Yeah. You would not let anybody walk over your family. I would not. But the fact of the matter is the question didn't say if. 
It said it did happen. It did happen. Okay. How would you feel? Yeah, you can walk to the front door. You can't walk up on him like that. Yeah, but you can't walk up on him like that. Right? Yes. Now, if it did happen, how would you feel about the people that did it? Don't make it too much of a big deal, Uncle Sam. Let's start and watch it. You would feel, you would feel angry. Now what if those people, Lord forbid, and I'm not wishing this on you, if those people killed you, used and abused your wife, killed her, left them hanging, and then raised their, your children to believe that you were weak and you gave in and make your children love those people who attacked your family. And now, those children, they're called by a different name. Your name is erased. What would you want done 20 years later to those people who done got rich and had children of their own? What would you want done? You would want justice. Yes. You would want an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That's what we want. However, now justice, real justice doesn't come vigilante. You had a chance for self-defense and that went. You already got taken. Justice got to come from a judge. God is the judge of you. Give me Revelations 13, 9, and 10. Now let's see what God says about what happened to us. Because what I just described to you happened to us. The native Indians, yes, they were not here. They didn't spring out of the land. However, they were here first. They were here first. And this was and they, this was their house. And they were invaded. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They were invaded, raped, robbed, and murdered on the reservation. That's you going up to the attic. And then they went and got the Negroes for slavery. Listen to what God said. Let's hear what God says and then we'll come back to you. Bear with me. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. We all have ears. So it's not talking about that ear. It's talking about understanding. If any man can understand, let him understand. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? Lead him into captivity. If you lead people into captivity, read. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. That's in the Bible. If you enslave people, justice is you now going into slavery. Read on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So you, you ain't got to do all of that with him. As long as he ain't, you know, attacking no, no cameraman, just forget him. Don't even worry about him. No. Go ahead. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Your people, not you, have murdered us. Daniel genocided us as a people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. One second, I was talking to him. Hold on. You see, you see what I'm saying? He said, no one gives a judgment God. What is judgment? What is judgment? What is judgment? What is judgment? What is, I'm asking you a simple question. I, what is judgment? That's a lie. What, I, what I'm doing is reading God's rules. Judgment is a punishment, and I'm not punishing anybody. I'm reading God's words. I'm reading God's words, woman. Go ahead. So you understand? That's what God said. I understand. Go ahead. And I am the one who uh, Because there's nothing I can do about it. You can't do it. Just, just like there's nothing I could do about the slavery my forefathers went. All I could do is change my life and serve God. From now, I can serve God. And guess what? You can serve God too. I was a man. You do. And I love that the Native Americans, I, I have family as Native Americans, I have family as African Americans, and I think that is a beautiful thing, that I have family from both of these races. Is this your daughter? No, no that's not white. I don't know who they are. Oh, okay, I thought you were over here, no, no sweat. Oh, let, yeah, me, let me ask, you know, so I'll come to you. What I'll come to you. We got blue cord ties. What? Blue cord. I'll come to you. See what I'm saying? We, um, we, we got your back. You hear what now? We got your back, and you said you love America. He no, said, let, let, he said it blue cord. 
No, but she, she said, said she Do you said, know what a blue corn is? No, listen to what I'm saying. Did you ever serve in the military? That's why he has my back. I'm serving And right it's right regardless I'm of what right color right we now. are. I'm serving in, in okay, okay, the okay, so can I right finish? Now. So let, 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 me, let me say something. I didn't get to finish. Let me say something. I didn't get to finish. All right, go ahead. So if the Native American did not spring from the land in North America, uh -huh. they, they, they journeyed there and they found their place. Right. When the when the uh, when the white man came to North America, there was no room for the white man where where the Native American was. So should everybody have just stayed where they were? Well, Why did the black man come to North America? He should have just stayed where he was. Correct? Because nobody should migrate. You're a fool. You're a fool. You're all fool. Did black people migrate? Did black people migrate? Did black people migrate? Back up, um, Bukwam. How did they get here? Through slavery. And who sold the black people that came here? Africans. The Jewish man financed it. The Africans rolled us up. Stand up for yourself and don't let them take you. But I'm, you're weak. I'm standing you're up weak. now and you won't let me talk. And you see, you know what this is? This is a criminal when the evidence doesn't come out in court. You didn't think the evidence would come out. I don't gave you everything. We had a discussion. You said, and, and listen, this is how you are a vile monster. You're a vile piece of cockroach. And F you and your goddamn blue cord. You're a vile piece of cockroach. Somebody done stole my people and enslaved them and I'm weak. If I'm weak, the Jewish man is weak. That damn Jewish man of six and I, he's a weak bastard. You white people got a day coming, and God is going to flood the streets of America in your blood. Let God bury the streets of America in the blood of the white man. When Christ come back, he going to cut your goddamn head off. Blue cord, white cord, red cord, I don't care. You hug my forefathers from cords, you're going into slavery. You rape my mothers, you're going into slavery. You set my children on fire, you're going into slavery. You kill Native Indians and put them on reservations, you're going into slavery. You put Hispanic children on the border in cages, you're going into slavery. You oppress Haiti and turn them away on the border, you're going into slavery. White man, you are going into slavery. You are the devil the Bible speaks of. That's I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward as a ghetto up in heaven and the sours. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something you can't afford. Agree, niggas across the board. Ain't no suckers round us. You was looking for the truth, well, that's how you found us. Now it's time to lace your boots up. We got the order from the king, round the troops up. Let's go to war and die defending this nation if we gotta. Ain't no stopping us now. The chosen people love the power, standing strong like a man. In our camp, it ain't no cowards. Nah. 144 grand, nigga, it's step before the sun. Rather die like a man, man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours. I'd rather die.